thousands of companies from around the world unveil the future of technology in communications at this year's Mobile World Congress in Barcelona with a focus on artificial intelligence. Our business correspondent Moon Aeryeon takes a special look at what South Korean tech powers bring to MWC. The overarching theme during the four-day event was Future First, embodying six sub-themes such as 5G and AI, and extended beyond the mobile industry to digital transformation overall. This year's AI scene shaped up to be a little different from last year. Or, or applications around 5G AI and platforms, and how these three things can work together to provide a service or a solution to you as a consumer or to you as a businesses that is different from what it was before. South Korea's turnout for MWC 2024 was its largest yet, with many startups and SMEs participating. The Korea Trade Investment Promotion Agency opened a joint booth with the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy for small domestic startups, SMEs and related organizations. Eight public institutions joined forces with the government to support Korean companies as one, so 118 startups and SMEs are promoting at MWC under the same brand, Korea. AI was a running theme for many Korean firms at the joint booth, and domestic startup Hyodol, offering AI companionship for the elderly, was awarded the 2024 Global Mobile Awards in the Best Mobile Innovation for Connected Health and Wellbeing category. The country's biggest tech firms also brought their A-game, with Samsung Electronics unveiling its latest line of wearable tech, the Galaxy Ring, which tracks health data in your sleep. Telecommunications companies KT and SK Telecom set up AI-related booths and demonstrated a wide range of services. KT showed its intelligent urban air mobility traffic management system that assists in the safe operation of urban air mobility vehicles. UATM digitally replicates real-world UAM operations by integrating digital twin technology and AI that enhances safety based on numerous data analyses and simulations. As for SK Telecom, it showcased its telco-specific large language model that's used in various services such as its virtual chatbot assistant. And in true MWC spirit, South Korea was also one of 10 countries, alongside the United States, Australia and Japan, that signed a joint statement outlining principles for the research and development of sixth-generation wireless communication systems. Moon Hye-ryeon, Arirang News.